All right, let's get to it. Getting into this 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 cop net. Let's pop in here. You, right. So um, if you've been watching the other ones, this is this is pretty standard stuff at this point. So um, bring in my low res, uh, rasterize, set up that low res, and then I do my custom rasterization. I'm fetching all the usual suspects, Ridge P, in UV, tangent U, tangent V, signs, and position gradient. I don't really need all this. I'm most, I basically just copied and pasted this from the baking setup, but, you know, it's in there. I might end up just making this its own either preset or recipe or, you know, whatever, however they're, they're saving stuff or HDA or whatever now. Um, so uh, how, this, the, how this whole thing works, I bring in my high res and my, my high res has, um, so this stuff is actually, this is left over. Do I need this? I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't think I do. Let's just do external side. Okay. So we have my high res. So that's coming into geometry and then I'm just projecting my data again. So I'm taking my ridge and my ridge P and my N into N. And then um, really the only thing I'm using out of this setup is my, uh, my tart, my, my source UVs. So I'm picking up, let's see, where is it? UV source. So I'm picking up my UV data from my high res here and projecting it into my low res, right? So, so now what I'll do is I'll take the UV from my, uh, my, my low res and I'll use that to sample the UV from my high res. Now this is like, this goes back to, this is actually, I actually went through this um, in VEX format in the warp projection stuff. So this is really mind bending to me because you're using space to to sample more space and so it's like this this double like it's this double dimension type of thing but you get these uvs out of the end of this so if i want to take a texture so just a random texture let's just put this in here um and i can now sample that onto my low res pig head and i can grab and that'll go to my low res pig head so if i want to check this what i can do is I can come over here to my cop preview material. And what is that guy called? I'm gonna, let's see, this is transform 2D. So I'm gonna control C, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go to cop preview material and I will do control V, right? Cool, great, yeah. So there's the, the, um, the image on my high res, and then this is the image transferred over to my low res. So we can see that we get this big stripe here. It's a roughly, everything is roughly in the same space. We can see that there's there's parity there. So that's that's really cool. Okay, so you can use, you know, uh, so that's using a file texture. If I wanted to, let's say for whatever reason, I needed to use this mass paint from, from my high res here. Let's turn this guy off. So this is my mass paint for my high res. So if I come in here and I press enter, it'll show me the mask that I painted. And out of the bottom of this, you get two outputs. You have your mask and then you have your, just your geometry again. So if I do a null here, I view this guy, right? It's just my, the geometry. And so, so it's basically the same as, as this. It's kind of like a pass through. So I'm not using that, but I am using this out mask because that's the, that's the actual height field data that I'm going to send over into the cop net, right? So I have this out mask here. So back over in the copnet, what I can do is I can do a SOP import because that that mask um, field, it's technically geometry, right? So I'm doing out mask and then uh, raster I set up here. I'm setting it to UVs and then I'm saying geo to layer instead of rasterize attributes, I'm doing geo to layer because in Houdini, fields, which is what images are, which all this stuff is, it's, it's, it's fields, it's two-dimensional voxels, they're not so it's it's a hard how do i how do i say this um with geometry so like points points hold attributes in houdini fields are attributes in space so i don't have to rasterize anything i just have to like grab that ge geometry which is the actual attribute and turn it into a layer or an image in this case so i have this so now um i can just plug this into here and then we'll go back to our preview here, and I'll do the same things I did before. So I'm gonna take this geo layer, I'm gonna control C, I'm gonna come up, and I'll go to my cop preview material that's on my high res, and I'll control V that there. And so now, it's like there's my low res, and there's my high res, and everything transferred over just fine. And I think, let's see, let me, let me see if I, if I um, let's turn this off. And I'll turn, so if I come back to my, paint and let's put just a stripe down here something like this something like this 
something like that. So I've updated this, this paint node. So now if I come to my low res, yep, yeah, that's still, that's all transferred. So skip. And that is amazing. Like that's, that's very, that's unheard of. Like I, I don't know of any other software that can, that can do this, which is uh, at this, like at this level of sophistication. So yeah. Good guy Houdini. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, that's, I think that, uh, that's, that's, I think this is a good stopping point for me. I've done, I've done a fair bit. My brain hurts. Um, so I think my next step is going to be to try to work on like a, a user workflow or UX workflow, and then start to kind of package these up into, into HDAs that I can use over and over again. So um, it might take me a little bit longer to do that and come up with some more dev blogs. But if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. If anybody's even watching this, I don't know. But I'm having a good time. So I uh, hope you are too. Happy noodling. And uh, I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one.